Hi guys, it's Final Ballerina, and I finally put the cases together. So, I'm just showing you guys how it look. And this is it. It's gonna be kinda hard for me to get inside with the camera, but we're gonna do a quick case tour. The girls are in here. This is the first time that they've been in here. You know, they're so used to just the top, of the top half, but they have the bottom half now. So we're gonna go in and let's see. So we're gonna start at the bottom. So at the bottom we have a box that I put uh, like metallic uh, screens in there and the girls could just play around in there, run around and have a ball in there. And let's see, it is very cute in that box. Next we have two homemade tunnels that I made and they are fabulous. Okay, moving on, they have pink fleece for the bottom of the wire, right? so they don't have too much wiring to deal with on their feet. They have a litter pan, which is right there, the litter box. And they have a, another little square, like uh, square thing that they can lay around in sleep in. I have a, a Happy New Year's hat with the metallic screens in there. And they have a hideout area that they can sleep in. As you can see, it's black and it has fleece inside. They're gonna really love that. And they have pink fleece also inside of the big box area. Okay, moving up, I have a homemade hammock and it's right there and it's all black and it's hanging up with baby ringers. I have another homemade hammock, as you can see, is right here, where I am pointing, uh oh, sorry, like I'm pointing somewhere else, but <laughs> as you can see, it's right there, and it is brown, and I have another hideout type of hammock thing, which is right here, and it has a box inside, so they could go in different ways they could go inside the box or on top of the box and it also has a fleece on the top of it for them to stay cozy and i also have a homemade ramp that i hung up right here and i just added a little fleece to it so it don't be too much wiring going on the feet and this is and this is how the black uh, hammock thing I told you about was hung up from the other way. I wish I could show you from the inside out. And here's a hideaway. I'm right here. And here is a brown hideaway. Right here, as you can see, they could go to sleep in it. It has an opening in it, but you can't see that right now. And coming forward towards this way, you can see the hammock that I had showed you about earlier, but you can see more of it this time. They have different holes, they could go in this way, many other ways. They have another hideout up there, which is that little pink thing that you see over here. That pink thing right there, that's another, another hideout for them. And that is pretty much it for the lower half of the cage and they also just have this where they could climb on and have fun on it so i'll be showing you this way so you can see the hideouts of the pink hideout oh they're actually making some of their fleece falling off sorry about that but here you go now I'm moving up. So we're gonna move up and I'm gonna actually open the cage for this. Hey, Ali. Aliana always comes out even if she has a whole big new home to look forward to. Anyway, so we're moving up. And we have, you know, like green fleece, which they just got veggies everywhere that fast. They have a homemade tunnel that I have put navy blue fleece around it. And it is very long. 
and it's very cozy because on the inside I have put fleece inside look at that very cozy and warm inside there oops oh my goodness so that is the homemade tunnel and here's their lock-in food dish um, sorry I just waste all the food out on accident so it has filled to the bottom this is their water bottle um, they have a homemade rip that I made for them. Um, they have this white hammock. Homemade white hammock, as you can see, right here. And this is both fused. They have pink fleece inside it. They also have a black hammock, which is right here. They could go in many multi-ways. And, oh, sorry. They also have this red hammock. This beautiful sparkly red glittery hammock and it's red and it's so gorgeous it's so warm okay and moving up they have a basket with fleece in the inside and they also have this homemade tunnel that I made which is very big and they can all fit in there together it has blue fleece around it and it's held up by baby ringers and they also have this little pink hideout that they could sleep in whenever they want and also they can crawl on this and that is it this is the cage you guys and let's watch the rats play and let's see what the rats want to do I want the bed back further so we can see the whole cage all at once. Here we go. I have put box at the bottom because um, they do have a um, litter pan underneath. It just it doesn't cover the whole exact cage and I didn't want boo boo or pee to get anywhere. So that's why you can see the box underneath. But yes, I have put the two cages together so they can reach the levels. And I'm so glad it actually took me forever to do this. So it was a very long, long, long process. I had to put the cage and flip the cage around many different ways for this to work. And I finally got it to work. And my rats, I hope they enjoyed their mini mansion that I just made for them and everything that I have in there. So right now, we're just going to watch the rats have a little fun in their cage. I'm gonna let them check out all the space they have and so you guys know I didn't add that many things to the bigger cage because I wanted them to have a lot more room to run around so oh it's one more thing I forgot to show you guys um I do have another um, ramp right here for them to actually come up there as you can see this is how they get from up here and they love it. They have a lot of room to run around. And this is Trina, who is having a ball into her new home. I'm so happy I can do this for my rats. And I'm so glad that they like what I've done for them. And they can have, they can be ready to just have fun and do what rats do. Hey, hello Trina. There's Trina eating. She's so happy that she's eating right now. Look at her. You can tell she's so happy that she has an amazing cage. Look at that. Now let's see what Winter's doing. Okay, we have, I accidentally waste all their food inside the bottom, like just a few seconds ago. So, you will catch Winter eating as usual. There she is. There's Winter eating right there. Hi, Winter. Are you enjoying your new home? Yes. We have Aliana who is still out, or is that Trina? Someone is out the cage. Uh, I don't know who's out, but they're out. Uh, some of them is out. Oh, yep, that's, of course, oh no, that's Trina who's out this time. Surprise, Aliana normally be the one that's out, but 
this time. Aliana is in and Trina is out. And I think they love it. Well, I actually know they love it. This is, and uh, you guys could check out my other two cage stores I done before I got both of the cages and put them together. You will see how the cage was as one. And you will see now how it is. And um, I didn't record myself putting the cages together because it was a very, very, very long process and I was very frustrated doing it. But seeing my rats enjoy their stuff and having as much fun as they're having right now, it makes me feel great. And I'm so glad that I did this for my rats because they really deserve it. They don't live very long, and it's very important that they live the best lifestyle they can while they're here. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let them live their best life. So here's my raddies. Enjoying their stuff. They're all out the cage, running around. Some in the cage running around. I'd much rather have them in the cage running around to check out their home. Winter is definitely gonna check out her home. She's like, uh, oh, I don't need to be in that cage. I mean, I don't need to be out the cage. I wanna enjoy myself. Is that right, Winter? Then we have Oriana and Trina who just wants to play around outside the cage and in the cage, like, they're just having a ball. <laughs> they're up, they're gonna discover something to eat. Let's see what hammock or what hideouts do they go in. Let's see where Aliana go. Aliana, she went in the white hammock and she's just like, so this is where Aliana is. See where everyone else is. Hi, Trina. Oh, Trina just knocked over the food dish for more. So wow, we're gonna have food all over the place. Hi, Trina. She's like, oh, she knows she knocked over the food dish. So she might be a little bit nervous. She probably thinks she's gonna get in trouble which I knocked it over first, so I'm not gonna be mad at all. But yeah, let's see what they're all gonna do. Hi, have fun. I hope you girls really have fun. We're watching the girls have fun. Look at the tunnel play, look at all of that. Hi, hello, Ali. Hello, Aliana. She like, oh, I have to go the long way. <coughs> I'm so glad that they love it and they're checking out their home. They're checking everything out to see what's going to be their favorite areas. I have no idea what's going to be their favorite areas now. I was so used to them just being in this cage up here at the top, and I knew their favorite areas, but now I have no idea what their favorite areas are. They have so many things to do and so many places and areas to go now. They probably don't even know what their favorite areas is at this point. Hello, Ali. Let's go back to Trina. Hi. Oh, that's Ali. Her and Trina look just alike. It's just one is brown, this one is black. Brown and white, and black and white. <coughs> Let's sneak at Aliana in the tunnel. Hi, Ali. What are you doing in there, huh? Hey, Aliana. You were eating? Oh, you're getting out. <laughs> I don't know what she left behind in there, but. Spencer is still having fun, wrapped around, and in the little playful, playfulness of metallic strings. 
Hello, Trader. Winter <coughs> is digging up all the food that way. Hi, girls. Don't dig up the fleas. Don't dig up the fleas, girls. Look, they're digging underneath the fleece, making extra rounds, but it was very important to cover up most of the wire in the cage. So, yes. I don't have that many platforms because of that reason, but they do have some up high areas in this cage as well, but this is mainly their up high areas, and I'm so happy with what I did, and I'm glad they love it. They already just left this cage. <coughs> but now they have this. They really love that. Look, she's going underneath the box. Aliana, just why? Why do you want to go underneath the box when you can go in the box and play? No, don't move the fleece. You want Bumblefoot? Okay. Oh, that was Trina. See, they just look so much alike. And then, like, far back. I be sometimes getting them mixed up. Okay, who else want to play? Hi. Who is that? Okay, that's Trina. This is Trina. She's grooming herself. And now she's drinking water. There's Aliana. Hi. Hi, Trina. There's Trina out her cage. Winter is still in here digging for food. I would say she's the greediest. Trina's gonna do, she's gonna eat. See more of Trina, she's the only one who's really eating right now. She's in her veggies. The other girls is checking the downstairs out. so much I would do a lot for them to have a fun home and I think I nailed it I could have added way more to this cage if I wanted to but I just wanted really the top to be crowded and the bottom to be more space to run around and stretch you know and I think they do just fine so again that was my cage tour. These are my rats. And this is them inside their cage, checking everything out, their mini mansion. I hope you guys like what I've done with the cage. And if you guys really want to um, put two cages together, your best advice is to have a lot of patience because it does take time and, you know, I mean, it's really not that hard, but it does take time to actually get that done. And, you know. So, if you're going to be passionate about it, just go ahead and do it and be passionate about it. I was very passionate about it. Although, it did get on my nerves when I had put it together. I was so like, oh my gosh. Especially because I wanted the cage just to be the long way. It was impossible to put this cage the long way. I had to flip this cage upside down and the other way. I was upset because it's actually originally supposed to be 
uh, set up similar to the birdcage up there at the top, except it's bigger, but it was supposed to be made to be taller than long. I made it flip it to the long side. That was the only way I could put it together without cutting the wire. So I did not cut any wire in or anything, but it worked and it worked out for the best. And my rats finally have their little mini mansion and I finally happy and satisfied with their cage. This is it. They're not going to get nothing bigger than this. This is perfect. Even for when they're grown up, this is just enough room. So they will be keeping this cage. Gonna watch the girls play a little bit more and then I will let this video go. Hello, Ali, Aliana. So Aliana is eating and Trina is behind her. And I don't know where Winter is anymore. She's somewhere. Winter has been really checking the other cage. Oh, there's Winter. She done went in a tunnel so she could eat. <laughs> She's like, wait, do I want to come out? Wait, nope, nope, I want to eat. Yeah, you want to eat. You want to eat, don't you? <laughs> don't you? Winter wants to eat. Look at her. She's like, oh, why are you bothering me? Let me eat in peace. Oh, you guys are, where are you girls are going? Did you girls go back downstairs? Yeah, you did. I love watching my girls go upstairs to downstairs. Like, it was so hard. Like, I crowded this up. And I really love this cage alone. Like, but now that I added this on, it's so much more to watch the rats play around. I could really watch them do more now. And I'm so excited and so happy, guys. Okay, this was my cage tour. Those were my pet rats. I hope if you guys ever want to combine your long way, I had to flip this cage upside down and the other way. I was upset because it's actually originally supposed to be a set up similar to the bird cage up there at the top, except it's bigger, but it was supposed to be made to be taller than long. I made it flip it to the long side. That was the only way I could put it together without cutting the wire. So I did not cut any wire in or anything, but it worked and it worked out for the best. And my rats finally have their little mini mansion and I finally happy and satisfied with their cage. This is it. They're not going to get nothing bigger than this. This is perfect. Even for when they're grown up, this is just enough room. So. They will be keeping this cage. I'm gonna watch the girls play a little bit more and then I will let this video go. Hello, Ali, Aliana. So Aliana is eating and Trina is behind her. And I don't know where Winter is anymore. She's somewhere. Winter has been really checking the other cage. Oh, there's Winter. She done went in a tunnel so she could eat. <laughs> She's like, wait, do I want to come out? Wait, nope, nope, I want to eat. Yeah, you want to eat. You want to eat, don't you? <laughs> don't you? Winter wants to eat. Look at her. She's like, oh, why are you bothering me? Let me eat in peace. Oh, you guys are, where are you girls are going? Did you girls go back downstairs? Yeah, you did. I love watching my girls go upstairs to downstairs. Like, it was so hard. Like, I crowded this up and I really love this cage alone. Like, but now that I added this on, it's so much more to watch the rats play around. I could really watch them do more now. And I'm so excited and so happy, guys. Okay, this was my cage tour. Those were my pet rats. I hope if you guys ever want to combine your cages together, you guys have the best of luck. And all you have to do is try your hardest. And it's not that hard. It's it's a lot easier if you have zip ties. I must admit, I didn't have any zip ties. I was working with a lot of different things. Yarn, baby ringers. That's technically all I had was yarn and baby ringers. But because I wasn't, uh, I didn't know the case was actually going to come today. Uh, so, yes, it is a good idea to put the cages together like I have done. And if you want, 
You can even put two big cages on top of each other and make that work. And this is their cage at night. I have a red light on. Not too bright or too dark. And this is how it looks at night. Hello. And you can still, you can see the girls a little bit. You'll see the other girls. Oh, they're in the hammocks. Well, this is how it looks at night. We do have a red light. I keep in here for the righties. Okay, guys. This is it of my cage tour slash um, my rats playing inside their new cage. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will keep you guys updated on whenever I do change the cage around and put new toys and different cage tours. So thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.